politically incorrect Bill Maher. Suddenly, Susan's Chuck Nelson. Comedian Paula Poundstone. Host of Inside Edition, Deborah Norville. Bobcat Goldthwait. From Sabrina, the teenage witch, Caroline Ray. Home improvements, Debbie Dunning. Writer, comedian, Bruce Valanche. And starring Whoopi Goldberg with Tom Bergeron, your host, all on Hollywood Square. And here's Tom Bergeron. Okay, hi, welcome to Hollywood Squares. Yes, Marjorie, we're on. Uh, good to have you all with us. Marjorie's very concerned that someone tell her when we're on. Okay, uh, let's welcome the stars. Hello, stars. Hello. 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 And, uh, right. and, oh, and Ms. Circle. She's on. She's on. Marjorie. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Marjorie. Yes. Um, Bobcat, that, what are you wearing? I have my, uh, my pink sweater on again that, uh, <laughs> that apparently Tom has some issues with. No, no, I just no. think it's like from the Faye Mr. Rogers collection. That's all. <laughs> I, I thought, Tom, that, that at some point you should wear the sweater just to break it up for the audience. Yeah. I've been happy to. I've been happy to. Yeah. Can, for, for the first game. Yeah. For the first, for the first game. game. All right. Because, Marjorie, I want you to be comfortable, honey. Right, well, Thank you. And if okay. he's wearing a sweater, I'll feel much more And there's too much green up here, anyway. <laughs> there's too much green. green. Yeah. Like pink is your color. You think so, Deborah? I think, I think right. it's an autumn. I think you're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that right. an autumn. While, while I get the sweater, Marjorie, tell us all about yourself. <clears throat> My name is Marjorie Nardone, and I'm a self-employed money manager, originally from Bernardsville, New Jersey. Well, good to have you here, <laughs> and good <laughs> luck. Thank you. And, uh, Mr. X, why don't you tell us something about yourself, and please cover for me. Yeah, you bet. Hi, I'm Jim Souter. I am a computer technician originally from Collegeville, Pennsylvania. In my spare time, I am Mr. Fixit for the New Mexico Boys Ranch, a nonprofit organization just south of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Well, good luck to you, and how about this? <laughs> Three stars in a row, either across, <laughs> up and down, or diagonally. You have to decide if the answers the stars are giving are correct, or they're just making them up. That's how they get the squares. All right, who, uh, who won the toss backstage? Arjun, or are you a star? Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopster. <laughs> I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling oh. really good about all of this. Can I just say something? Okay. Um, Who's... It's cold in here. <laughs> You're telling me. Uh, whose first words were, try again, Doc, as a doctor tried to give him a shot, and the needle bent. And the needle bent. Keith Richards. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. What do you mean? Oh. Crickets. Crickets, honey. I'm telling you for days. Um, I think it's Superman. I agree. It was Superman. Yes, X gets the square. <laughs> All right, Marjorie. Uh, Caroline Ray. Caroline Ray. You know what? Caroline from Sabrina, the Rich. In American Marjorie history, is my mother's name. What? This is going to be good. Marjorie is my mother's All name. All right. In American history, who were the Minutemen? All of my boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I needed 60 of them. Um, <laughs> this is a dirty show. Um, the Minutemen were, do you remember the farmers in the American Revolution? And they were ready at a minute's mm -hmm. notice to go and fight in the revolution. That's why they were called Minutemen. All right. I agree. That's right. The American yeah. Revolution militiamen. Yes, Circle gets the square. All right. You know, if you're just tuning in now, there's no way I can explain this. Jim? <laughs> Debbie Dunning. Debbie Dunning from Home Improvement. <laughs> Debbie China. 
China produces 401,000 metric tons of this a year, according to Random House. What is it? Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> um, cricket. <laughs> I would have to say tea. I disagree. T, yes, circle gets the square. All right, Marjorie. Let's do it for you. At Paula Poundstone. Paula Poundstone. Hey. So I'm, I noticed that Marjorie got so comfortable with the outfit change. <laughs> <laughs> Even Jim looks out and out relaxed. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just bonding over here, Paula. If you take cream that's about 20% butter fat, pasteurize it, dump it in a bacteria culture that produces lactic acid, what are you making? <laughs> How come Caroline got a Minuteman question and I guess it's about the fatty foods? <laughs> um, what are you making if you do that? Uh, sour cream. I agree. Sour cream it is. Yes, yeah, circle yeah. gets the square. Jim. Deborah Norville for the block. Deborah Norville for the block. All right, Deborah, from Inside Edition. After, after witnessing the British bombardment of Maryland's Fort McHenry in 1814, Francis Scott Key was moved to write something. What? Not a letter home. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, say, can you see? Star Spangled Banner. I agree. Star Spangled Banner it is. You got your block. X gets the square. Marjorie? Bill Maher for the win. Bill Maher for the win from Politically Incorrect. All right, Bill. A recent article revealed that O.J. Simpson's lawyer, Alan Dershowitz, uh, likes to sunbathe how? I would say in the nude. I in the nude, you say? I agree. All right, yeah, in the nude, you got the win. Circle gets the square and $1,000. After I loosen my jeans, stay with us, won't you? This would be a hit at any fair. buttoning up here. Welcome back to Hollywood Square. It's good to have you with us. Time for another $1,000 game. This one, though, has a secret square. If either of you picks a secret square and is correct, here is what you'll win. It's a trip to magical Disney World worth over $5,000. Right. Very good. Very good. Cool. Let's show you folks at home who the secret square is. All right. Now you know. Marjorie, you won the last uh, sartorially challenged game. <laughs> you get to start this one. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopster. All right. Sweater. You miss a sweater? I do. Okay. I just thought you looked fabulous. It needs to be let out. Just you think so? I think so. <laughs> All right, we'll get you some pads. Let what do you want to know, Tom? What show centered around an alien from the planet Melmac whose favorite food was cat? Julia Child's chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. I don't know. Uh, I'm so moved by that sweater thing. I'm just yeah. totally not here. I think it uh, is probably Mork and Mindy. I agree. Alf. Alf. X gets the square. Ooh. Remember the little furry guy, Alf? Ooh. All right, Jim. Debbie Dunning. Debbie Dunning from Home Improvement. All right, Deb. The hammer, stirrup, and cochlea can be found where? In the gynecology office. <laughs> you just don't know about it. Either that or my and ear. And you're sitting over me? <laughs> what was your second answer? I said either that or my ear. I agree. The ear is right. Yes, X Thank gets you. the square. <laughs> All right, Marjorie. Judd Nelson for the block. Judd Nelson from Suddenly Susan for the block. <laughs> oh, Judd. Which, uh, which U.S. president's last words were, I always talk better lying down? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> um, John Quincy Adams. I agree. James Madison. <laughs> James Madison said that very authoritatively, didn't he? All right, Jim, we can't give you that one. Judd Nelson for the block. Judd for, the, for the win, yes. yes. It's better than a block for a tie game. Judd, does your heart beat faster if you're a man or a woman? I think it beats faster for a man, which is why uh, women oftentimes are, uh, feel cold. They has, uh, have less good circulation. I agree. 
Another fine bluff. Ah, uh, a woman. A woman. Circle gets the square. Okay. Marjorie, you're still in this. Okay, Caroline Ray. Caroline Ray from Sabrina. I get too nervous. Caroline, since 1934, college football's elite have battled the gridiron in the Sugar Bowl. Where is the Sugar Bowl? <laughs> Next to the cream. <laughs> Beside the cookies, and I love it. No, I don't know. Um, I do Caroline. know. I do know the sugar Caroline. bowl. Caroline, what? Is that my cat you're wearing? <laughs> you know what? It's Salem from our show. Payback's <laughs> oh. oh. tough. The sugar bowl is um, in the city named after my ex-boyfriend, the Big Easy, New Orleans. I swear! I swear! New Orleans. I disagree. New Orleans. I said yes. I swear. X gets the square. <laughs> All right, okay. Jim. Bill Mayer for the win. Bill Mayer from Pal Oh, my heavens, Bill is the secret square. Oh, no. You're the secret square, oh, Bill. Oh, the secret square. You are indeed. Oh, Secret's out now. What oh. city is known as the Big Pretzel? Is it Philadelphia, St. Louis, or Seattle? The Big Pretzel. Uh, Philadelphia. I agree. Philadelphia, yes. X gets the square, gets the win, and you're going to Disney World. Yes. Experience a magical getaway to the Buena Vista Palace Resort and Spa in the Walt Disney World Resort. This award-winning resort offers exquisite dining, deluxe accommodations, and a full-service European-style spa and fitness center. We'll throw in $1,000 spending money, making this fun-filled trip worth $5,346. All right, we are back on sort of an even playing field tie game. We'll break the tie when we come back on Hollywood Squares right after this. That was Tinkerbell, I think. Squares, we have a tie game here that's about to be put to rest, though. Our next game's worth $2,000. If we run out of time in this or any other game, every uh, square you have on the board's worth $500. Person with the most money at the end is our champion, goes on to play for a bonus prize, all right? Okay, Jim, you won the last game. You get to start our $2,000 game. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopster. <laughs> for a judge, for a judge, what is his docket? The rocket in his pocket. <laughs> this is, uh, thank you. <laughs> this is meager, but I appreciate it. Uh, I think it's the court calendar, actually. I agree. That's exactly right. The court calendar. X gets the square. All right, Marjorie. I'm going to stick with Caroline Ray. Caroline Ray. All right, Caroline. <laughs> Caroline, when asked, who do married women consider better lovers? Husbands who are artists or husbands who are truck drivers? Well, you know, my first husband was a truck driver. Really? Well, he wasn't my husband, but, um... <laughs> I say artist. I want to hear about an artist today. An artist. I agree. Yeah, artist. Oh, good. Right, Finally. circle yeah. gets the square. All right, Jim. Debbie Dunning. Debbie Dunning. All right, Deb. An Allure magazine poll. An Allure magazine poll found that 31% of girls between 13 and 17 wanted something. What? <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. Um, I would say one of those really comfortable little things through their tongue. Oh, the little like bars through their tongue. tongue. Those sexy little things. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. I disagree. Just to get a tattoo. X gets the square. Thank you. All right, Marjorie. Judd Nelson for the block. Judd Nelson for the block. All right, Judd. You suddenly, Susan. Judy Garland. Judy Garland won the Oscar for Outstanding Performance by a Juvenile for The Wizard of Oz. What was unique about her statue? It's a tiny engraving at the bottom of the dog Toto. A Toto too. That's the answer? That's, that's, his, that's, that's his answer. I agree. Actually, no, it was just a smaller Oscar, a mini Oscar. All right, Jim. John Nelson for the win. Thought you might go there. I'm surprised any of you believe him now. All right. If you get a Perkins, a Stafford, or a PLUS loan, what is the money for, Judge? Your education. I agree. That's right. To attend school, X gets the square and the win, bringing up the $3,000. Want to go right into another game? Huh? We have time for another game? <laughs> well, 
I guess, guess not, not, based on that noise. So uh, the way this works, cash is the determining factor, Marjorie, for a half hour's work. Not we bad. give you $1,000. Thank you very much. And our much. thanks for being here Thank on you. Hollywood Squares. Thank you. Jim, $3,000. Trip to Disney World on top of that. You, sir, are our champion today Thank on you. Hollywood Squares. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And when we come back, you get to pick a star and play for a bonus prize. You can drive away from here in a brand new car. We'll find out how Jim fares right after this. And you can get that sweater from Bobcat probably, oh, too. Yeah, it's okay. Working to make your travel experience easier and more comfortable. It's a new direction they're taking. It's a new way to fly. United Airlines rising. Sitting here with champion Jim Souter. You got, uh, let's see, in cash and prizes, $8,346 right wonderful. now, but more wonderful. to come. If you get the bonus question correct, uh, okay. each of our stars has something totaling over $100,000 in stuff up there, including wow. these nifty gifts. We have a check for $10,000, a powerful jet boat worth over $17,000, and a brand new Jeep Wrangler worth over $23,000. All right, Jim, what are you hoping for? I want the Jeep, of course. Want the, yes. Okay, all right, good Jeep. luck. All right, uh, Debbie Dunning. Debbie Dunning, what are we playing for, Deb? <laughs> it oh, is a check for ten. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Here we go. Just gonna get this right. Here's the question: Which of these was written by Ernest Hemingway? Debbie, the sun also rises, crime and punishment, or the grapes of wrath? The sun also rises. I disagree. Oh, oh, the sun also rises, but we'll give you 2,500 in consolation money, Excellent. all right, Excellent. and add it on to what you had, $10,846 well, in cash and prizes. So Good to have you with us. Congratulations. We got just a, we have a little time. Paula Poundstone. Now, you, you got... You it got, is so unbelievably cold up here. Is it really? Unbelievably cold. Well, if it was this cold, I was cold outside in the summertime, you would put the heat on. Maybe if you could Carol borrow that from Bruce Valanche. Caroline I gave me her mug. I know that they're... I know that they're... <laughs> <laughs> you, know what that's called, Bruce? you know what that's called that you're wearing? Merkin. What? It's called a chubby. It's, it's called chubby. a chubby? I now have a chubby. This Side all started. Long. I was going to ask you something. You were going to ask me something? Yeah, you know, right? well, you're, you're a single mom, right? I'm a, I'm a single mom. You have three kids. I have adorable. Three, I have right. two, two, two daughters that I adopted and a foster son. Yeah. Okay, that, that's that's three. That's three. And uh, I just I just needed to establish that's, that. That's great. I'm kind of proud of being a foster parent. Right. But you have because you, I have a very unusual cir circumstance, which is that my second uh, uh, foster child was an accident, which almost never happens. <laughs> in what happened is I did not use the cap on my pen. <laughs> <laughs> And you also, you don't have a live-in nanny and you're not interested in, in that kind of thing? Uh, no. And, oh, uh, somebody living in my house with my kid? No. Did you see Sound of Music? That can go bad on <laughs> No. no. I, my, frankly, my curtains couldn't take it. <laughs> we, have, we have Venetian blinds. The kids' play clothes would be so uncomfortable. Yeah, well, that, that's true. That's true. Well, I think we're going to wrap this sucker up and uh, wish you a fond <laughs> farewell. See you next time on Hollywood Squares. Bye-bye. Emotional consideration furnished by the following.